tricep, flying tricep, ex flying tricep uh, ex extensions here. So it's not a bench press, it's just, just a close grip like type of uh, 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 movement where I'm coming down to my chest and extending all the way up. And pretty much uh, after I finish this exercise, I do it the same way I do all exercises, slow control movements, uh, tr trying to get peak contraction. I'm not using a, a whole whole lot of weight. I'm doing enough weight just where I can you know, feel the muscle and get a good uh, uh, movement, slow control movement, where I can get a good peak contraction on it. And once I finish this exercise, pretty much the uh, end of the workout. I was able to pro make my progress basically through just a lot of hard, hard, hard workouts. I mean, to be honest with you, uh, there's nothing real complicated about putting on muscle mass. With me, uh, I've always worked out hard and I've always been consistent. Uh, I think the key to me putting on as much size as I did had a lot to do with my diet. Uh, <coughs> I didn't know growing up as a kid uh, that protein built muscle. I actually didn't find this out until I started bodybuilding. The difference between now and uh, back during my college days or when I was coming up, I ate a lot of pizza, hamburgers, french fries, and all those open calorie foods. I never got fat or anything, but I, I, I was already, always pretty muscular, but I wasn't in the process of building muscle because I didn't eat a lot of protein, which, which is what build muscle. Once I found that out, and once I started bodybuilding, I pretty much uh, increased my protein from like maybe 200 grams a day to about 500 grams a day, and also my workout. I always stay consistent. I work out, uh, my, my workouts are six days on and one day off, and I do some hard, grueling workouts. I'm not in there playing around. I'm nothing playful. When I go in the gym, it's just like I'm at work. Or it's like I'm doing a job. So I stay real focused while I'm in the gym, and I train extremely hard. As far as uh, my uh, pounding just goes, uh, I mean, for me, 400 pounds on the bench, you know, for, for about 12 or 15 reps may be kind of heavy for somebody else, but for me, it's, it's really not that heavy. Uh, I, what I try to do when I'm in the gym is use a heavy weight and at the same time do a, n a number of reps from at least 10 uh, all the way up to about tw maybe 20 on some sets. Basically, the 20 is on a, on a warm-up set. But I wanna, what, what I want to do is get good uh, peak contraction going up, going down. Uh, I also concentrate a lot as far as uh, the muscle goes. I concentrate on the contraction of the muscle uh, during my workout. So I've always kept my, my, my weight heavy and my reps pretty high. And at the f same time, I've always, you know, focused on contracting the muscle and making sure I, I feel what I'm working. It, like, for example, if I'm working biceps, you know, I want, I want to feel my, my bicep contracting when I go down and, and, and come back up. So that's pretty much has allowed me to uh, be able to grow the muscle over the past what, six, seven years by just going in the gym, getting a good workout in, and also the diet, uh, increasing my protein from like 200 grams to almost 500 grams a day. So that's how I was pretty much able to, to gain, you know, to like 35 pounds over the last uh, six years. I mean, you, you say uh, uh, 35 pounds, it may not sound like a lot, but it, it's not all, all in what the sound is, it's the quality. And see that, that that's where I've uh, been been able to uh, overcome, you know, as far as putting on like maybe 50 or 60 pounds and not a lot of quality. When I say quality, I mean the muscle that I put on.